Hey there, it's the shooting guy, and uh, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Appreciate you subscribing. If you're just passing by, you know what? Thank you for stopping here. I do appreciate it a lot. Consider subscribing, because we've got a whole lot of fun things that we do around here. Outdoors, backpacking, knives, guns, all sorts of stuff like that. If you're into that kind of thing, pull the trigger on that uh, subscribe button and uh, join us here at the Shooting Compound every week when we bring to you something new and something special. Anyway, what the heck is this? What do you think this is? I'll give you a few seconds. That's right, it's a knife sharpener. That's right, it's the latest and greatest design in sharpening your kitchen utensils and all of your knife sharpening needs. Yeah, that's what they said about 60 years ago when this thing was made. I guess they still make these things in various forms, but this one is a collector because uh, this has been around uh, since the 50s, wouldn't handle the whole thing. Anyway, you've seen them like this, and I'm sure you've seen them like this, a whetstone. You might have even seen something like this, two carbide wheels. I'm pretty sure you've seen something like this. Many of you may have even this in your pocket right now. We did a review on this one just recently. I'll put a link to it if you want to take a look at it. It works pretty good. But now, enter the new generation of knife sharpening. This is a beautiful, handy little tool for out in the field. Recently we were uh, out on a road trip, and by the way, we've got lots of video of that road trip, and uh, it'll be coming to you soon, so if you're subscribing, you'll catch a, uh, you know, a glimpse of some of that stuff in the real near future. But a few weeks back, we, were, uh, we showed you a video from the Derex Corporation. Let's cut away to our friend Kyle out at Derex, and he's going to tell us all about this handy tool. A lot of our customers, they really like the performance and ease of use with our power sharpeners. But they ask about a cordless version for staying sharp in the field, because you don't always have 110 volts uh, when you're out hiking, hunting. Right. So what we've done is, is we've provided, uh, this is a retractable honing rod, so it folds up, not hmm. much bigger than the knife I carry, but it also has angle guides. So we've set the angle to match that of the power sharpener. So after I power sharpen, I bring this retractable honing rod into the field. It sets the angle on this fine grit ceramic rod, and I can go above and below the bevel to maintain the edge wherever I am. It makes a nice, easy pack carry. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see that. Yep, that's pretty light. Very, very light. Belt clip. You can stick it right on the belt. And this is our guided field sharpener. While this, the honing rod is meant to complement the, um, the power sharpener, people also wanted a standalone sharpening solution that could repair a damaged edge all the way through uh, that final shaving. And continuing with angle guides, what we've done is put the angle guide on the handle. So it sets the, uh, the angle to the diamond plate. This is a coarse diamond, so I can do all of my edge repair and shaping here on the 20 degree guide. I then move to a fine diamond plate, again, angle guided, so I can refine the edge through the sharpening process. We then transition to a ceramic rod, and what we've done is developed a custom extrusion so that this, uh, this rib section uh, behaves like a more aggressive ceramic because of the high surface pressure on the ribbing. I roll at one position, I have two fish hook grooves for large and small fish hooks. And the third position is a smooth rod. So after the fine diamond, again I come up, I'm angle guided, set the angle, and maintain it all the way across that fine ceramic rod. Yeah, that's great. If I have serrations, the small tooth of a serration can be honed here, and the large down below. And then to finish the edge, we of course have a leather strop. Angle, angle guide here, so you set the angle, and pull across the leather strop. We precondition it here. We create a slurry of mink oil and a half micron diamond paste. We heat up the leather so it best absorbs that micro abrasive. So it comes pre-charged, ready to use out of the box. So you have everything you need for an angle guided solution in the field from coarse diamond all the way through a leather strap. And because we all like uh, clever solutions, <laughs> the diamond plates are held on with rare earth magnets. Oh, there you go. There's a cavity inside, 
Um, you can put a fire stick in there, uh, maybe a hand line gives you a little storage. And for the bow hunters, we put a broadhead wrench on the inside. Oh yeah, that's all right. That's so what that you, is. you can right. displace your broadhead wrench and sharpener um, with this tool and have more uh, capability for sharpening in the field from your camp axe to your skinning knife. Pretty lightweight. Four and a half ounces. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. The diamond plates also fit on back. Uh, inside out to protect them yeah and it also protects anything in your pack that way the diamond isn't abrading anything in your pack you don't want to scratch one of your optics and most importantly it's dead quiet yeah so when you're uh, making your way through the woods on a, on a hunt you're, you're not gonna have a rattling sharper yeah weight is always an issue especially when you're backpacking or camping you want it to be lightweight and I will tell you that is really lightweight for a package like that I mean and these little ramp guides are pretty unique to your tool, I think, because I haven't seen that before. That's great. That is very cool. Right on. Hey, shooting kids, you got that uh, SOG Trident. We're going to put this thing to a test. It's got uh, you know, a curved belly on it, and then it's got the uh, serrations and all that. Why don't you give that over to uh, Kyle? And that thing needs to be sharpened. We know that. Looks like there's some damage there. Uh oh, what'd you do with that there, uh, shooting kid? All right. Did you nick the blade? You did. So that's the uh, that's fairly abrasive diamond plate. And as with any sharpening, you just feel for a bird to check your progress. Yeah. And then come to the other side. A little finer grit, or I guess it's not grit, finer grit. Uh, the fine grit is a, about a 600 grit, mm, okay. while the coarse is about a 220. There you go. Almost ceramic. Take that burr off, right? Yep. Just going to continue to refine the edge up the grit scale. And get that burr smaller and smaller. And then we'll finish on the leather strop. It has that half micron diamond paste charged into yeah, it. That's great. See that shooting kid? So when you're stropping, you go you go the opposite direction. Yeah. You're almost polishing at this point, right? Correct. And all we're doing is just working that wire edge off so we're just revealing that very keen sharp edge. And then the serrations on the small. And then a little larger one. Yep. Are those gauged uh, specifically? You know, each knife is going to have a different kind of serration. Um, they do. Each are a little different. What we found is is if the serration doesn't quite match, you can come at a slight angle yeah. and find where the serration will best nest uh, to the ceramic rod. Got it. Good. And as with any sharpening, you're left with a little burr on the back. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is just give it a little pass to knock that wire edge off the back of the serration. On the fine ceramic, just a light touch there. And then just finish it off on the leather strap. Wow. Thanks for sharpening shooting kids nice. <laughs> it needed a nice edge. <laughs> we camp out. So guys, you know, it's like anything. If you want it done right, you gotta be patient, take your time, do it well. Look at that. Nice edge. Clean that thing right up. And because the uh, the diamond plates uh, come off, what you can also do. There's often times when you need to, uh, you know, to clear a shooting lane, mm -hmm. and uh, like a, bringing a bypass here, you know, 
knock that wire edge off the back again just using the diamond plate right off the tool all right so there's really no end to the applications when you have this many uh, different uh, abrasive selections at yeah. the end it does make it convenient to get that thing off of there you can work on just about anything yep where are these available? How do you? Uh, uh, these are readily available right now. Uh, wherever you're buying your uh, hunting or fishing supplies, so you'll find the WorkSharp guided field sharpener in stock, whether that's Cabela's, Bass Pro Shops, mm -hmm. Sportsman's Warehouse, um, or of course online, uh, whether it's Amazon or WorkSharpTools.com. Yeah, there it is, folks. Diamonds. That's right, diamonds. Own yourself some diamonds. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate that a lot. Appreciate the demonstration. Appreciate the tool. This is uh, very, very cool. I'm glad you guys brought this thing to market. I encourage you, if, instead of using this or <laughs> instead of, you know, using this, use this out in the field. It works absolutely terrific. And um, I like the feature that you can store stuff inside of there. Awesome. Very, very awesome. That's all I got for you today, folks. It's the WorkSharp Guided Field Sharpener. We love it. God bless you, God bless America, and may America bless God. Well, they do say diamonds are the girl's best friend. <laughs> yeah, there's diamond dust on there. <laughs>